With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that if ABCD is a quadrilateral such that AB is equals to AD. So we are given that AB is equals to AD and CB is equals to CD. That means this length CD and CB are equal. Then prove that AC is the perpendicular bisector of BD. Then we are required to prove that AC is the perpendicular bisector of BD. Now to prove that AC is perpendicular bisector of BD, what we need to prove is, we need to prove that all these angles, that is angle AOB, angle BOC, angle COD and angle AOD all are equal to 90 degree. This is what we are required to prove. And also we are supposed to prove that OA is equals to OC and OD is equals to OB. These two things we should, we are required to prove, to prove that uh, these two lines are perpendicular bisector of each other. So now what we are going to do is we are going to use congruency to prove this. Now if I observe in triangle A, in triangle ABC and triangle ADC, what I find out is that AB is equals to AD, AB is equals to AD, BC is equals to CD, BC is equals to CD and side AC is common in both the triangles. So I can say that by by side 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 congruence criteria we can say that these two triangles are congruent to each other that is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. Now as these two triangles are congruent that is ABC and ADC are congruent so I can say that if I call this as angle 1 and this as angle 2 then we know that corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal so I can say by CPCT corresponding parts of congruent triangles angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Now let's observe the two triangles that is angle this is, that is triangle AOD and triangle AOB. Now we are observing triangle AOD and triangle AOB. So in triangle AOD and triangle AOB what we observe is that that angle that AD is equals to AB given in the question we are given that AD is equals to AB. So AD is equals to AB and angle 1 is equals to angle 2. We have just now proved above that angle 1 is equals to angle 2. And one of the side is common that is OA is common in both the triangles. So by side angle side congruence criteria I can say that both the triangles are congruent that is triangle AOD is congruent with triangle AOB. Now if these two triangles are congruent that is AOD is congruent to AOB then we can say that OD is equals to OB. OD is equals to OB because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. So OD is equals to OB. Also if I name this as angle 3 and this as angle 4 then I can say that angle 3 is equals to angle 4, angle 3 is equals to angle 4. Again corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. Now if angle 3 is equals to angle 4 then we can observe that angle 3 and angle 4 are lying on a straight line. So angle 3 and angle 4 are forming a linear pair. That means their sum that is angle 3 plus angle 4 will be equal to 180 degree. So I can replace angle 3 by angle 4, angle 4 by angle 3 because I have just now proved above that angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So I can write this as angle 3 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. So twice of angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. Angle 3 is equal to half of 180 degree because this 2 will go to the right hand side of the equation and will get turned into a division. I have angle 3 is equal to 90 degree and angle 4 is equal to 90 degree because angle 3 and 4 are similar. So what until now what I have proven is that these two angles are 90 degree and this side is equal to this side. In a similar manner I can in a similar manner I can prove that OA is equal to OC and 
these uh, two these two angles are 90 degree so we can similarly we can say similarly we can say let's call these as angle 5 and angle 6 so i can say angle 5 and 6 are also 90 degree angle 5 angle 6 is equals to 90 degree and oa is equals to oc oa is equals to oc so this proves that the the lines ac and bd intersect bisect each other and are also perpendicular bisector of each other because i have just proven that oa is od is equals to ob oa is equals to oc and all the angle angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 and angle 6 are 90 degree so i can say that hence ac is the perpendicular bisector of bd which we were supposed to prove so we can say that ac is the perpendicular bisector of BD hence proved thank you for class 6 to 12 ITJ and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today